Hello guys and happy. Um, today is Tuesday. No, today's Monday. <laughs> happy Monday to all of your sunshiny faces. We are headed to go to the um, grocery store to Walmart and to Aldi. And um, I just pulled dinner out of the oven, which we are having some chili cheese dogs, which either is a is even though it's like not very healthy um on a day like today most of them it was actually turkey chili and there were some turkey dogs too uh, a little bit better <laughs> but um on a day like today when i wasn't really going to be home because we have to go out to the grocery stores anyway we don't have that much stuff left <laughs> um and i didn't get to the store yet it was really easy because all my dad needed to pick up was cheese hot dogs and hamburger buns because we already had the chili so um those are done there so you guys can see Ooh, do they look pretty i just used chunk cheese and shredded it which guys it melts a lot better um if you guys use shredded cheese and you um, shred it yourself. It works a lot better. Um, so we're headed out to Aldi and Walmart and I'm going to get some some fruits to um, make some fruit leathers with and de dehydrator. So guys, we got back from the grocery stores. I got um, a lot of like fruits and veggies and stuff like that to use in the dehydrator. I got grapes, which I am currently dehydrating in here. Um, which is starting to get a little shrivelly. Um, that I am going to dehydrate for um, about 30 hours. Wow. <laughs> I know, guys. Um, which seems ridiculous to me, but I only have them. It's between 22 to 30 hours. I set it for 26 because that's the longest the dehydrator will go for. Um, and then if I need to, I can always adjust it an extra four or so hours. <clears throat> but. Um, I got that and I left one top tray open so that before I go to bed tonight I can throw in the um what's it called I can throw in green beans that I got because I really want to make some dehydrated green beans and um they're supposed to dehydrate at now I have it set for 135 they're supposed to dehydrate at 125 for eight or no yeah eight to twelve hours so if I put them in before I go to bed, which will be about 10, 11 o'clock, they should be done by the time I get up in the morning. So um, <clears throat> I'll just pull them out and make sure that they're good. But we are watching the Bulls game right now. It is about half time. It's only about 8 o'clock. But um, I also got um, some, let's see, I got five mangoes because like I said, I want to do some, um, what is it? the fruit roll up so I got five mangoes I got um, strawberries I got the grapes which I'm dehydrating right now I got some organic apples now I want to get organic grapes I'm not using organic grapes but Aldi was completely out and had I known they were out I would have gotten them at Walmart because we went to Walmart and Aldi but um, yeah since I didn't know I couldn't get them and then I also got um, green beans too that I'm gonna dehydrate I got um, mushrooms and a green pepper and carrots organic carrots which i'm not dehydrating those but i have just baby carrots for um using them for stuff and then also um the mushrooms because i might add or i might make some like homemade risotto risotto <laughs> um sometime this week like for myself kind of so or some type of just like a stroganoff, vegetarian stroganoff kind of thing that I might do. But um, yeah, I got, oh, I also got blackberries because blackberries were only 99 cents at Aldi this week. So super cheap. I ended up picking up three packages of those, a thing of strawberries too, which are out of season. So they're kind of expensive, but I really wanted to try and make these roll up thingies. So hopefully they work out, but it should be pretty easy because they should just um like, they should just like blend everything up in the you could use a blender or else in the food processor i'm gonna use a food processor because the blender we have is cheapy and um i never thought about it though if i wanted to ever make a smoothie or anything like that i could just do it in the food processor because food processors our food processor is really old but it kind of it, food processors kind of work the same way the nice thing about blenders is you can pour them out easier i guess um but for the most part you can kind of use food processors just like a blender and since we have a pretty good de or we have a pretty good food processor even though it's 
almost older than my mom um it's it works perfectly fine and i'd rather get more use out of it because we only use it like once a year for making homemade cranberries um so yeah <laughs> anyways though guys um i'm gonna go finish watching the rest of the bowls game the bowls did not win they had a like 15 or 16 point lead something like that and they ended up blowing it and losing by two points by one basket literally oh my gosh <laughs> i'm so frustrated they haven't won i think this is their third straight loss the hawks the hawks won though the hawks won on sunday but other than that they haven't been doing too hot bears have hadn't been doing too hot i think they're out of the pl playoff run right now but the panthers are in so um like i said guys the bears as long as they're competitive it's at least entertaining for right now knowing that it's kind of more of a transitioning year i think i said this yesterday and that was the word i was looking for yesterday yesterday i was like i wanted to say something like they're not really it's like a growing year was that transition year i guess because they're transitioning with a new coach and stuff like that i mean every year i guess is kind of a little bit of transition year for different people but um anyway um i am saving the last vlog for today and then i am or not the last one second vlog i have one more i have to do i'm gonna do that once i get out of the shower i'm gonna go hop in the shower before i go to bed um but yeah guys i just honestly today it's super foggy out right now and it was like really gloomy all day today and it seems like whenever it's dark and like cloudy out i always just want to stay in bed like and I seriously watched probably like four four or five episodes of Grey's Anatomy today because I don't know if I told you guys I'm re-watching this season <laughs> but I literally watched it today and like didn't I mean that's why I'm getting the last two vlogs done now whereas I could be done with them already for today but like I don't know it's just I'm I didn't feel very like, oh yeah, I want to like get stuff done today. I was just very lethargic. And even though I had coffee, I just feel like maybe it was because of the weather. But I kind of noticed that too. Like on days when it's gloomy, I mean, I think that goes for everybody. You don't really, you're not like, oh yeah, let's hop out of bed and go get stuff done. Like, no, you're normally like, uh, it's a lot cloudy outside. And now it's super foggy out. Like we were driving um, home from Aldi and it was like, or from Walmart, it was so foggy out. I was like, I can't even see anything. It was like crazy. I, I like, I had coffee today, but I wasn't very like energized i don't know but i also too matthew because he leaves for weight training in the morning at like six o'clock or i don't even know like five o'clock he's up or something like that he was up at like 5 45 and he woke me up him and my mom was awake too i don't know why but both of them were up and they were like talking in the hallway about something and it woke me up and then the dog was on my bed i literally couldn't get comfortable and my back was killing me i have no clue why um but then bliss she literally here here's where she i'll describe this for you guys okay right i'm on the bed she literally was right here i have my head is here i had to like snake around her so like she was literally right in the middle of my bed and i couldn't sleep this way because the rest was gonna roll off so i was like trying to like lay that way around the bed it was really uncomfortable and then my back was hurting but i didn't think it was hurting because she was in my bed which she didn't sleep in my bed, but once Matthew left for school, then she came in my room. Well, before he left for school. But then I was up from, like, 6 until, like, 7, and then I fell back asleep until, like, 8.30ish. Um, so, yeah, but <laughs> uncomfortable, sleepless, and, like, I don't know. I don't know if that's why I didn't get a lot of sleep, um, too, if it was because I was woken up so early. But I went to bed at, like, 11.30, so I don't know, guys. I keep going to bed early, and I'm, like... What's the point if I'm going to keep waking up late? Because I cannot get out, get my butt out of bed. Like, it's really frustrating me. But, <sighs> I don't know. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go hop in the shower and go finish up these vlogs. Got done with the vlogs for today. I did two a little bit earlier. And then I just finished the two now after the game, after watching the bowls. Um, we will most likely be going in visiting Grandma tomorrow, actually. Um, and so I'll probably end up recording that tomorrow with whatever we end up doing. I was planning... Okay, here's the thing. I really wanted to watch the Hawks game, but she doesn't get cable. And I'm not sure if it's going to be on cable or not. 
um, or any of the stations that she gets, because I don't even know what stations she gets. I mean, like, two, seven, five, nine, even saying those out of order. <laughs> she gets, you know, those generic ones. Um, but, like, I'm not even sure, like, in Fox, too, I'd assume, but I'm not sure, um, what channel it's on. So I have to check, and if it's not, then, I don't know, maybe we go on Wednesday? Um, so that we can watch the Hawks game here and then do something else. I've watched something else when we go over and visit her on Wednesday or something. So I'm not sure. It'll be either tomorrow or on Wednesday or we might not stay that long then tomorrow because of the Hawks game. Um, because I don't know. I just wanted to get back and watch it. But, um, it'd, it'd be nice of me to watch it with her, like at her place. But like I said, if we don't get it, then maybe we can watch... See, she doesn't really like the Bulls, though. I mean, not that she doesn't like the Bulls, but she really likes the, um, she really likes hockey. She likes hockey, and she doesn't, she's not a huge fan, football fan, really. I mean, I think she is, but she's definitely a, she likes the Sox. We don't like the Sox in this house. We're, we're Cubs fans. Um, she's a Sox fan, and then she's a Blackhawks fan. Football and basketball are kind of kind of she doesn't pay attention to that much but I think for me it'd probably be, be or it'd probably be football hockey and then basketball as a close second and then probably baseball just because I don't really enjoy watching baseball that much I feel like it's just very repetitive like you're kind of watching the same thing a lot um I mean not that it's the same thing but like Matthew used to play and I used to go oh my gosh how I don't like football because he quit baseball to play football because <laughs> he kind of did um he played it like he played both of them and then he really didn't like baseball that much anymore so then he started playing football and um, I was always really mad because I was like baseball more than I like football and when I started watching him play football I was like this is boring I don't like this I'd rather have him play f baseball because like it was easier for me to understand and now I'm like oh my gosh when did I actually like watching baseball? Which, like I said, I don't mind watching it. I've gone to like um, Cougars games, and my friend's brother plays football or plays baseball, and watching you know the clubs when they're doing well and stuff like that. I don't mind doing that, but it's not like I wouldn't find that as my favorite pastime. I'd probably find something to do and then like come and watch it every occasionally because it also is very long too. Um, but yeah, that's my my sports rankings but maybe go and see grandma tomorrow too i'll let you guys know obviously in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's give it a thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love it if you'd subscribe and i'll talk to you guys tomorrow so bye guys i'm gonna show you guys what yeah, everyone got from saint nicholas day look what i got what look what a uh, uh calendar i got I... no looking at the table um, she's looking at the table apparently. Um, I got a Super Mario Bros. calendar for St. Nicholas Day. And. Da -na -na -na. Yeah. Um, Inkling Boy Amiibo. Matthew. Well, I got the Super Mario Bros. calendar. And Matthew got the Hunger Games calendar. Which we want to see Mockingjay Part 1 and Mockingjay Part 2. And then, Matthew. Matthew likes these things. They're called pop figures, which, um, they're like little figure things that you can find. And this one's of, uh, Stewie Griffin from Family Guy, and he's holding his little Rupert.